Hi everyone! This is the second time I'm filming this video because it just cut off and I wasn't even halfway through. It's a long one. It's my very favorite video of all time and it is an empties video and if you can tell from the look of this bag, it's a, it's a big one. It's probably, no, definitely the biggest video I've ever done in my entire life. Er, empties video. In case you are newer to this channel and you don't know, I am moving tomorrow. I'm super, super, super excited. I am not a huge fan of this apartment. Not the people or the, like, my roommates are great. It's not like that. It's just, I, need, I just need to leave this place. Um, so I'm very excited about that. And um, with that, I've been trying to just be more cognizant of using stuff up. As always, I'm going to link a video I did a while ago about uh, my personal beliefs, I don't believe that you should, like, force yourself to use up products um, and things like that because then I don't feel like you really get your money's worth. I feel like you're just kind of forcing yourself to use them just to use them up. And then, yeah, you're not wasting them, but then you're still not getting your money's worth. So not like that, but just being more cognizant of, like, oh, this is going to be gone the next time I use it. Maybe I shouldn't move this to my new apartment. You know, that's just a thought. So this is a giant one. Um... I'm going to link a whole playlist of all of my empties videos down below because I love some empties videos and I hope that y'all enjoy them too. And if you are like me and you binge watch empties videos, then you'll enjoy that playlist, hopefully. First and foremost, I'm going to start off with the products I've hit pan on. I have three of them. Um, I mention the same ones every month just so y'all can see some progress. I hope y'all enjoy that. If y'all have opinions, let me know if you think this is stupid or if you think it's a good idea. So, as you can see, I've just hit pay and smack dab in the middle of that. I don't think there's a ton of progress from last month, but the sun is pretty much completely gone. You can still see it a little bit up here, but it's pretty much completely gone, and there's definitely a big dip in it. So, I think I can use that up. I'm hoping, again, same thing, I'm never going to force myself to use up products, but I'm hoping that I can finish all three of these up before the end of the year, because I've never finished up a powder product, and I think that'd be really exciting. This is the Beauty Rust Wet Beauty Rush Wet Dry Single Shadows. They don't make them anymore. This is in the shade Flower Power. Flower Power or Flower Girl? Flower Girl. Um, definitely made some progress on this. I use it as my inner corner. I use it as a brow bone. I use it as a lid. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, super shimmery highlight shade. And that one's being used up quite quickly. Quicker than anything else. I was going to say the quickliest, but that's not a word. And this one's in Bronzinger. Same thing. Um, I've been using this up a lot. I do really like this shade. Um, it's just a brown shimmery shade. It's nice, um, but I have other things pretty similar to it, so I don't grab for it quite as much. Alright. Um, I'm just going to pull crap out because there's so much in here that I, I feel like if I start like ruffling and stuff, it's going to be super loud and annoying and... I'm just going to pull stuff out, if that's okay with y'all. I mean, if y'all have a preference, to, if I do it in order, let me know. Um, I used up this Up and Up Cotton Squared, the padded ones. They're like the nicer version. I mean, I'm not going to say they're a Sashado dupe or anything. I've never used Sashado cotton, but um, they're alright. I think I would like to try something a little bit nicer, but they're nice and they don't pull on my eyes as much. This, it still feels like there's some in here, but I can't get any more out. It is the... Dove Winter Therapy or Winter Care Body Wash. It smells good. It smells really clean, slightly powdery, just fresh. And that scent does linger. My ex boyfriend um, would use this. He's my roommate, so he would like. I didn't like the body wash he used, so I'd be like, hey, why don't you borrow this and uh, not smell gross. So he would use this, and I really liked it. And it definitely like stays on your skin. And like I said, it's pretty gender neutral. Whoops. That wasn't on purpose. Um, I used up this Up and Up nail polish remover in the Nourishing. I don't necessarily think it's Nourishing, but I like the Up and Up brand better than the Qtex brand. I don't think the Qtex is as good, and it's more expensive. A lot of people talk about these. These are from Big Lots. They're the EPL um, Cucumber Cleansing Towelette. Not necessarily the cucumber ones, but just these because they're a dollar for thirty. These had this sickeningly. <sighs> sweet like fake cucumber scent that I was not at all a fan of it the wipes were big and they were soft but it left a really big residue and I felt like I needed to like use at least two every single time and it didn't get my makeup up as well as these so I would not repurchase this these I really love these are the Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes a lot of people rave about these I heard some people feel like they leave um 
a residue. I don't personally get that feeling. I really like these. However, they're not quite as soft, I've been noticing. So, I, I mean, I have um, one that I'm going through right now, and I'll probably purchase it, but I don't know. They get off my makeup really well. They even get off my eye makeup for the most part. I still go back in with an eye makeup remover, but they're the best I've found for getting off makeup. But they're not quite as soft, which is a little, a little sad. This is my Herbal Essence Body Envy Conditioner. I have a shampoo that I'm almost like halfway through. I'm pretty much a two to one ratio of shampoo to conditioner because I condition my hair every morning also besides like just washing it and stuff. And in case you cannot tell, it's long but there's a lot of it. I have a lot of hair. So I didn't love this. I found the Body Envy line to be drying. It had like a, it says with citrus essence. It had a sweet, very citrusy, like, let me see if I can pick out these notes with my little, my little nose. Orange and like, grapefruity. Yeah, grapefruit. Um, I mean, it was nice. I liked it, but it was kind of drying, and I really, really love my Herbal Essence Totally Twisted. And with this, I still need a detangler, and like this morning, as you'll see next, um, I ran out of my detangler. So, yesterday. So this morning I used the Totally Twisted Conditioner. I didn't even need a detangler, so I would not repurchase this. As I said, I did go through this detangler. It is Pantene Repair Light Detangler. It was good. I'll say that. Um, it definitely detangled my hair, but nothing is as good as the Totally Twisted Detangler, which they have discontinued. So... This isn't as good as that, so I'm going to keep on searching for something that is. I don't, I did like this better than the Suave Kids. Everyone says it's fine. I didn't like it. I felt like it didn't detangle as well. I have a lot of tangles. This curl, this texture that's in my hair, it creates a lot of tangle. So this was good, um, but it's not, I feel like there's better out there. If y'all have any recommendations, let me know. I went through, there's still some water in here. That's water. That's not the body wash. Um, Herbal Essences Body Wash in Honey Smell Good. It smelled really sweet. I don't think I'm going to smell it with this. It smelled just like a sweet, clean, slightly honey-ish scent. I got some on my nose. Um, it didn't lather very well though, which was disappointing. So I liked the smell. It was a gel, which I prefer like a more cream, just because I have really dry skin all over. And um, so I wouldn't repurchase it, but it smelled nice. This was something in my birch box. As you're probably going to notice as I go through this, I definitely use all of my birch box, glossy box, ipsy, wannable, whatever. I use up my stuff because I think it's stupid to get the subscriptions and then not use it. So I'll link all of those. I have a whole playlist of all of those unboxings just in case you're interested in seeing that also. I'll link it below. This came from a birch box. It's the Miss Jessie's Quick Curls Best Dawn Curl Creams, period. This had a scent, and it was just kind of weird. It was, like, sweet, but, like, let me see if I can smell it. Yeah, but, like, almost medically, and I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, I've tried a few Miss Jessie's products, and to be honest, I just haven't really been impressed with any of them. Um, it was fine. It didn't make my hair crunchy or anything, but it didn't really do that much. So, I wouldn't, and Miss Jessie's products are pretty expensive, so I wouldn't repurchase that. This I got from one of those kiosks at the mall where they like run you down and they're like, hey, hey, don't you want to buy this? And by the way, we'll give you like 87% off if you buy it right now and blah, blah, blah. Um, I got it in a set that my mom got my sister and I for Christmas a few years ago. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, this is the Secret from Dead Sea. That's like the brand Wild Kiwi Body Lotion. It didn't have that much of a scent. It had like, a, like an after scent almost. But it just kind of smelled like lotion to me, and it was really hard to, like, work into your skin. You just kind of had to keep on going. And so, because of that, and, like, it was, like, it's not really easily accessible and stuff, and I like other ones better, I would not repurchase that. I went through one of these. This was the one that was on my handbag. It's the Pocket Bag by Bath & Body Works Creamy Pumpkin. This smelled really sickeningly sweet, which I like. Um, the only thing is... I can't use this kind when it's when I work with animals because they're like, oh scrumptious, let me have some, please. And I'm like, um honey, it's alcohol. You don't you don't want some of that. But I did like it and I'd repurchase it. I always use those. 
The other one of those that I went through is Vanilla Bean Noel. This is a really sweet scent. One of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents. I went through this candle, and it's not... It's by the Disney store, but it looks like a Yankee candle. And it's Nightmare Before Christmas. My dad got this for me because that's our movie. Um, and it's in the scent Black Cherry. If you can see, I don't want to open it. It cracked. Like, the wick inside moved. I didn't move it. It just sits on my, um desk I didn't move it but somehow like the wick moved to be right beside here and it was cracking the glass and it just it made me really nervous and I was afraid a shard was gonna like fly out and like hit Kanga Noel in the face and it was just gonna be bad so I just said you know what and it was I've used to like here so I maybe have like one more day but the scent um, was black cherry I don't get any scent though from these they're, again they're from the Disney store I would not repurchase them but it was sweet, and I really liked that my daddy got it for me. Um, this is by Neutrogena. It's their alcohol-free toner. I like this stuff. I think it's really good. You can feel like, it just kind of feels like, to me it feels like after you've done your whole skincare routine and gotten out of the shower and whatever, it feels like a, like a mist of refreshingness. It's not like a spray bottle. I know they make spray toners, but it just, it seems really refreshing. I do notice a difference when I use this. Um, I have another one, but I'm thinking about trying some different ones just because, um, this is my favorite that I've tried, but I'm always on the lookout for new things. As always, if you have any requests for or suggestions for this or really anything, please leave it down below, and I would love to hear it. This is by a brand, Nail Bay. Nail Bay. Um, it's like a natural and organic brand. As always, I have a whole spiel about this. I think I should probably just make a video about it. Um, but uh, a lot of times, natural and organic doesn't really mean anything. If it's a chemical, is a chemical. No matter the source, um, chemical names are very specific, blah, blah, blah. I've gone into the spiel. But this had a really nice, like, clean, sweet, slightly fruity scent. I liked it. Um, it was pretty moisturizing. Not Nothing great. I used it as a daytime moisturizer. I wouldn't repurchase it. But it was nice. Um, okay. Come here. I went through this bad boy. It's a perfume sample from Victoria's Secret Bombshell. This stuff gave me a headache and just smelled like alcohol, so no, I wouldn't purchase that. I got this. This is from a glossy box, and it is the Anatomicals Your Nose Smells Rose. Um, you need a blooming shower shower gel. Again, as I already stated, I prefer a cream to a gel, and this is definitely a gel. Or this has body cleanser, but it's a gel. It was pink, and it smells very, very, very much like roses. So if you are obsessed with rose-scented things by all means you might like it. I didn't feel like it lathered super well. That's the back of it. I didn't feel like it lathered super well and I also just didn't, I didn't love the rose scent. It smells like roses but that's just not one of my favorite scents. So I wouldn't repurchase it. But if you love that stuff, you'll like this. Um, this is from Gilcrest and Soames. It's from a birch box. It's body, a body lotion in the London collection. It had a very herbally, like, clary sage scent that I am not at all a fan of. It was a thin lotion, but it felt pretty moisturizing. But because of the scent, and it's pretty expensive, I just wouldn't repurchase it. I mean, I like my, my favorite lotion is Dove, let's be honest. Alright, I went through a mousse. I use mousse every day. Garnier Fruit Teas XXL Thickening Mousse. I've tried a few Garnier ones. I can't tell the difference between each line of mousse, but I do like the way it works. Um, it doesn't have that much of a smell, I don't, if I remember correctly. It, I mean, a little bit. I, I don't think there's any, yeah, there's none. I, I just I saw me smelling it and, like, mousse in my nose. Yeah, it smells just kind of like hair products, like, just general, but it doesn't make your hair crunchy, and I do really like that. So I already purchased this. This is embarrassing, y'all, and I almost didn't even want to put it in here because I'm ashamed. I vent all the time about how I'm going to use my products up, and if I spent money on them, I'm going to buy them. And I'm going to use them. This, as you can see, still is only like a quarter of the way used up, which is embarrassing. But there's a reason. First of all, this was by Burt's Bees, and in the box, it came in like a little like cardboard box. And it said, it's a tea tree oil stick. And I said, well, everyone talks about tea tree oil being great for acne. So let me, let me try it. Then you get it out of the box and it says, oh no, it's an herbal, herbal blemish stick. It turns out tea tree oil is like the third to the last thing. This is a very natural product. Um, it had a roller ball, which I see the point of this, but 
acne, um, I don't know, I think my acne might just be called caused from like dry skin because I only get acne, well not only, but I predominantly get acne in my chin area which is also where I'm driest. But it's a rollerball and acne is caused by bacteria so if you're rolling this on your bacteria infested skin, I don't think that's a very good idea. And it actually made my breakouts a lot worse. So I just can't use this. I mean if, it's, if I'm putting it as a spot treatment and then it's going to give me one spot turn into four, like it's just not worth it. And I don't think I'm ever going to be like, hmm, my skin's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think I need some acne right now. So I'm sorry, I just cannot use this. And because of the design of it, I definitely don't want to give it to someone else. Like here's my acne infested medicine if you want some, you know. Um, so no, um, I wouldn't recommend this and I surely would not purchase that because I didn't even finish it. This is um, a little try it out thing of the Smashbox Full Exposure. It seems like there's still stuff in here, but there's actually not. Um, I was going to purchase this palette. I thought it was great, and then I got this in a birch box because I also got the, the mascara, which I love. Um, and I was like, oh, this is cool. You know, I'll try it out, but I know I'm going to purchase it. I hated it. Um, the mattes were great. But, as I've mentioned before, I don't like, like, just a glitter eyeshadow. I like a metallic sheen. It had so much fallout. It didn't apply great. And I just didn't think the quality was that great. And I know that this is, like, a travel thing. So, like, you could argue that it's not the same. But I just didn't like it. And I've heard a lot of people hate that. Hate the shimmers. I think this is Smashbox's answer to the Lorac Pro. And I just, I didn't like it. But I'm glad I got that sample because I would have spent the, what, 50, I think it's, like, $50 on that palette. This is a deodorant, Secret Clinical Strength in Fresh Water Orchid Scent. I don't like deodorants that have this style of thing where you have to push it up because I feel like you never get the right amount. I always have too much and so then I'm trying to like, you know, evenly distribute it but then it's not enough. It smelled great. It smelled really clean and fresh and nice but it didn't help me not sweat and... It's pretty expensive because it's the clinical strength, and I like another one a lot better that's cheaper, so no. I wouldn't repurchase that. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get rid of these. I cannot even tell you. This is the All May Oil-Free Gentle Eye Makeup Mover Pads. I had this liquid, and I hated it. But everyone talks about these pads being great and not bothering your eyes and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay. The liquid didn't work for me, but maybe these pads will. And they were like, I don't think I, yeah, there's none in here. They're a little like really thin cotton circles like this. They were super thin and um, you just use it to make, move your eye makeup. I didn't feel like it moved my eye makeup very well and it burned my eyeballs. So no. Dude, I would not repurchase that. I have this, whoops, Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play. So this is um, their hairspray. Everyone talks about Big Sexy Hair like being revolutionary like hair products and the best. I didn't like it. Um, it's more expensive, it smells like alcohol, and it made my hair crunchy. I prefer my $3 bottle Aussie ones. So, no. I wouldn't repurchase that. This is the Estee Lauder Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. My mom gets a lot of this. She wears a lot of Estee Lauder makeup, and I always just take it because she doesn't use it. Um, no. It doesn't burn my eyes or bother it, which is great. But it doesn't remove your eye makeup very well either. So, I wouldn't... I mean... Like, I would use it if I got another sample of it, but I definitely wouldn't spend the money on it. This is a Gilcrest and Soames Spa Therapy Body Wash. Again, it was a gel, which is not my favorite. It smelled kind of cucumbery, which I, I don't mind that, but it just wasn't anything great. It didn't lather great. It wasn't anything to make me want to pay the $25 for this full size, I want to say. It's, it's a lot. And that was from a birch box, also. I used up my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. Everyone loves this stuff. And I have pretty um, visible pores on my nose and then like right here. Just where, where most people do. And I didn't really see it make that much of a difference. I know a lot of people think it's great. I don't think I'd purchase it again. And maybe I just have really unrealistic expectations of what a pore, pore smoothing face primer, like pore remover, pore blur, whatever it is, filler, whatever. Um, maybe I just have really un unrealistic expectations of what it should do, but to me, it wasn't great. This I got in my most recent birch box, and it's a Ruffian dressing, dressing room 
Perfumed Nail Lacquer Remover Towelette. So it's this black, I kept it in here. It's a black felt towelette. As far as being perfumed, I didn't notice it like smelled like perfume. It just didn't smell like acetone. And it is acetone free, which is great. And it removed my nail polish really well. I, I wasn't wearing, um, which I wasn't wearing a glitter polish or anything. It was just like a cream polish. It removed it really well. But it had like oil in it. And the oil made the felt like pieces stick to your nails. And it made, yeah, they're already, just from touching it, my nails are really sticky. It makes them sticky and it lasts for a really long time. And so you definitely couldn't just like redo your nail polish right afterwards. So no, I wouldn't purchase those. But if you're into acetone free stuff, that's good. And if you don't like, if you're the kind of person that repaints your nails constantly, then it wouldn't be an issue. This is the Mary Cookie um, candle from Christmas. It smelled so sweet and delicious and like cookies. So yes, I would repurchase that. And the scent though was good. Alright, I got two Davines products. This is the conditioner and this is the shampoo. Obviously Birchbox didn't know this. This is from Birchbox. But I wish I would have gotten this size conditioner and this size shampoo. These smelled super strong citrus. Yeah, super strong, like, acidic grapefruit, and, um, I didn't love the scent, I didn't love what it did, again, this is a really expensive hair product, and I like my Totally Twisted better, so no. This is the Oi, um, or We, I'm not sure if it's Oi or We, it's O-I, um, Absolute Beautifying Potion, it's a hair oil, it didn't do anything special, it's also by Davines, it was, it was okay, it wasn't bad by any means, but it was just okay, so no. This I also got in my most recent one. This is a beauty protector um, hair mask, protect and treat. It got, from this tiny little thing, I got like one in like a quarter, or like no. Like I got probably almost two. I needed to, because I got two of these, I needed a little bit more for my very ends. But it smells so good. It smells like their hair oil, just super sweet and delicious. But it didn't really do anything, so I wouldn't purchase that. And last but not least, I have a sample of the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau in the shade 02 Beige Claire. Absolutely perfect shade for me, first of all, which was great. Um, I liked it with my beauty blender. If you apply it with your fingers, I felt like it, it just stayed on your skin. It didn't sink in and look skin-like. With, with my beauty blender, it, it just sunk in. It looked skin-like, but it wasn't amazing it was great I liked it it didn't impress me to where I think I should pay $70 for it so that's my empties it was a giant one I am gonna be taking a brief hiatus for a few days because I'm moving if I didn't say this I'm sorry I've, I filmed this video twice now so I'm not sure if I said it in this video or the previous video but I am taking a hiatus I'm moving tomorrow I'm so excited but um, I can't film and move at the same time so, I hope that's alright. My next video will be in my new room. Let me know if you have any suggestions or requests or anything. Please down below when you comment. It just brightens my day and means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all real soon. Bye!